Oh, Billy. Yes, what do you need? You know, it's been over three years since you first joined the crew with Inside the Mine, and I was wondering if you'd like to join me for something to commemorate that. Sure, I'd love to. Are we going to be playing something to celebrate? Oh, I won't be playing anything. You will. Hey guys, Upstar Someone Six here, and we have a very special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself, my friend. Hi guys, it's Billy. It's been so long since oh I've seen. Oh my God, you were walking in the shot, dude. Come on, I'm trying to do my introductions. As I was saying, hey guys, it's Billy. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. All right, and with that said, let's go ahead and get into it now. You're gonna go ahead and go to that old man over there. Why does he look like that? Yeah, I I don't know either. Just go to him. Yeah, he's looking away now. So just <laughs> while he's not making eye contact, just go ahead and go. This is my first time seeing it. I haven't been down here myself before, Billy, but I hope that that thing just does not... <laughs> Imagine that thing in the first two minutes. It just decides to lose its foundation and fall on both of you, killing both of you. The uh, Octarians! The Octarians are coming! Again! He's self-aware now. It's like, this is the third time. I know. We've been we've been through this before. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. I want the look in your eye. 100% crack. Gee, the great Zapfish has gone missing before. Twice, in fact. And those Octo Jerks were behind it both times. I've been keeping an eye on them even though I'm technically retired. And with eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. Oh yeah, even he's aware of his bucked eyes. Alpha, are you sure we should trust this guy? Listen, man, it's our first time, Billy. Just, it's okay. <laughs> trust me, I've been with him before. This is my good old pal Craig right now. And I love little, what, what's your little buddy's name actually? He's just chilling in the back right now. What's his name? Well, to fit his super fancy quaffed hair, I wanted to give him a super fancy name. Bartholomew. I thought you were gonna go with Elvis or something, but you know what? That's fine too. I like that. I like that, Billy. That was a job offer, kid. The pay is zero, but you might just save the world. You're in it, right? Right? Of course you are. Starting today, you're Agent 3 of the new Squid Beaks Platoon. I mean, hey, me and Billy will take minimum wage. It doesn't matter to us. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you help. It'll help you fight the Octarians. Wow, this gear feels so sleek. And the gun's pretty good too. Who knows? You might have found a new weapon. I realize you never did in Splatoon 2. Now let's get those... Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello there, little buddy. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Let's get to those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. Honestly, if I was just approaching little buddy for the first time, I'd probably just... <laughs> I'd pull out whatever weapon was nearest to me and just fire at will. Find the fuzzy ooze that's all over the place. Touch that stuff and who will know what'll happen? Ooh, this stuff looks so cool. Wait, Billy, you shouldn't really try it out. Why shouldn't I? It looks awesome. Well, I mean, it, it, you probably, you still shouldn't probably try it out. It's, it, look at it. It's pulsating. Well, we won't know till we try. Let's see what it's all about. No, Bill, I, I. Are you proud of yourself? There, that kettle ought to take us right to it. All right. There we go. Jeez, I feel like I've done that in two more games. Octarians in the crater? Yikes. All right, let's go, friend. So, Billy, basically, you're just gonna wanna pop. Oh, they, like, had the little lock on things. Oh, no, I think that was just probably for the first one, just to say, hey, these are like the equivalent of coins in Mario. Just shoot these if you want money. Okay, I see you going, Billy. You've improved a lot since Splatoon 2 as well. Well, I developed this for my ex rank friends like you, for example. Okay, I see you. I see you. My little boy's all grown up. My little bro's getting skills now. You're gonna see a lot of these, just so you know. So, I Hope you enjoy boxes. And like at the very least, breaking them is like popping bubble wrap. It's very satisfying. Oh, look at little Bartholomew you go. Bartholomew, you no! Know! Oh, he's back. It's okay. See, he's back. I told you. Your big bro's always got a plan. Don't worry. Don't worry. I totally... <laughs> I thought he was just dead for the level, guys. Don't tell him that. I mean, we might as well just pick up as much of these as possible. It doesn't hurt anything. The RNG on this gun is an absolute trip, dude. <laughs> this is like... This right here is literally like RNG on blasters in Splatoon 2. You gotta have faith in your little buddy. He's a sturdy little guy. There we go. Can you get back up here? Oh, there we go. He's got hops, man. Bro, you need to join the Lakers, my dude. <laughs> Look at my man's... My man's look like he has taken several shots of LSD <laughs> before he has taken his job today. LSD? Oh, uh, just forget what I just said. Nice, easy level. So basically that's a Zapfish right there. These little guys have been with us for like a solid seven years now and they power like the entirety of like the, the strangest Hecatarian world. Just turn around, yeah, look at all of this right here. Do you have any clue what any of this is? No, not at all. Yeah, me either. <laughs> Sometimes the developers, I wonder what the developers do every time they decide the background for one of these worlds. I plum forgot about all this fuzzy ooze. And that blasted fuzzball just wobbling back and forth, taunting us. Is that your small fry chirping about something? You know, that species is rumored to have a big reaction to power eggs. Oh, I know. Salmon Run. <laughs> Salmon Run gives me thousands of them. Awesome. Dang. 
little Bartholomew is kind of good, isn't he? Look at him, a hearty little guy. I'm telling you, if the sixth mass extinction event or whatever happens, if the Great Flood happens again, we might not survive, but Buckeyes over here might. What'd you pick up, Billy? Oh, you got decoration. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal and use it to decorate your locker. Oh my gosh, now you're finally getting decorations for your locker. You're already starting off better off than I did. Then what'd you put in your locker? Uh, literally, I just have like four weapons in it and like a poster. That's all I did. And then I mentioned the poster robbed me of like 15 Gs. All right, let's go. Now I've got to do this. Okay, listen, you're not doing anything. I am. Okay, well, listen, I, I, we're doing this all right, but I'm watching, okay? Hey, Alpha, look how fast I'm going. Yeah, you're going pretty fast, kid. I I still don't know why the Octarians just leave their eggs out here for us to collect like this. You know what? Who knows? Maybe it's just a design choice in their culture. Okay, actually, Billy, we probably gotta kill that enemy right there. Why? They're not doing anything. Well, because he's our enemy, dude. He's our enemy. We can't just leave him there. If we don't shoot him, he'll probably shoot us. If it doesn't unlock anything for us, then I'm not doing it. Fine, whatever. You're really just ignoring him like this, I see. God. You have a heart of gold, kid, but a heart of gold doesn't always win you battles. I'm trying to teach you, Alpha, that peace can always be an answer. Whatever. You'll learn the heart of battle soon. You'll learn the heart of battle. Oh, this looks like the malice from Breath of the Wild. Oh my gosh. It's like the malice times, like, I don't even know. Like, these, I can't even name the pattern, but it just looks so trippy and weird. Here we go. Now we can open this one up. What's here? Boxes locked keys please all right let's do this billy oh gosh the infrastructure were a lot slower in this game you're going at like two miles an hour dude you're going like mall cop speed oh wow i see you killing immediately just know that i still don't feel happy doing this okay Ow. you will have to kill him though you will have to kill him there we go see you're learning already sometimes you can't just let people kill you out of nowhere Ooh, something shiny oh nice you got a key so i guess now you can go back to the main area and then you can go like to little sub areas after that dude this feels like a zelda shrine my brain's already starting to break from this so now what we need to do is we need to unlock this side too billy awesome job Jeez, little buddy is going absolutely ham on that ink rail, dude. I will say this, you will also need to kill enemies eventually, and I don't, I, I, you know I would never lie to you, but you will probably need to kill a bunch of enemies in order to get enough power eggs, so if we do go broke, you know what you have to do. Where did those Octarians even put those power eggs? Listen, it's just the way the world works, dude. It's just the way the world is. I don't know, maybe they hold the power eggs in their pocket. I can't explain everything. <laughs> like, there's lore books for that. Someone somewhere knows the complete history behind these power eggs, but it ain't me. Those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, check. This is Cuttlefish, over. Do you copy? Agent 2 here, over. <gasps> it's best girl, guys. It's absolute best girl. Marie is best girl over all of them. S tier. Better than Pearl, obviously. Better than Callie, obviously. Marina etches her out. The other three that are in Splatoon 3, not too sure yet. But for right now, she's queen right there. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, and I guess Callie's here, too. What's up, Callie? <laughs> You suck. Let's go collect him. Roger that. Stay fresh. Gaia, ah, 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 cuddle, I found you. Oh my gosh, is that? They're not even hiding it anymore. Like, yeah, there's question marks in everywhere, but like, they didn't even hide it in the voice line. That is like probably a solid reused voice line from Splatoon 2 of DJ Octavio. <laughs> Can I just say, they have so many good options for these little buddies too. And need I say that you chose an absolutely amazing one, Billy. You chose a great one. This is literally like a representation of little boy and little boy's first pet. Very... Okay, semi-ravenous pet. You're so intent on not touching them that you're gonna leave them for your little small fry buddy. <laughs> Well, I don't want to do it, so I'm hoping that Bartholomew will be Gatler. Billy, my man just got numbed like he was a Rice Krispie treat. <gasps> oh my gosh. Don't cast in my ear like that. Listen, dude, I was nervous, okay? You can just go ahead and just ignore the other two. Okay, I have to be careful and avoid these guys. Oh my gosh, and of course, if you have the chance, you're gonna do it, aren't you? This man's bo- And he parries the freaking- Okay, I am now very well aware of the fact that you will do anything in your power to avoid as many enemies as possible, so long as you don't need to kill them to move on. That ought to be the last kettle, but do you see anything else that looks fishy around here? I don't know, maybe the gigantic gaping pool of fur at the bottom, you think? Oh my gosh, do we even have enough for this? That's probably gonna be like a thousand, but yep, that's- <laughs> I predicted exactly right, too. Oh, Bartholomew, are you okay? Imagine you could soft lock yourself and just, like, spend a thousand, miss the small fry throw, and then you have to, like, do it again. Oh, my gosh. That I feel like that's game design in some game somewhere. There he is. Yeah, ha, ha. I finally found you, cuttlefish. This guy with the Eggman-looking mechs here? My goodness. Agent 3, this dirty DJ is the headliner of the entire Octarian army. Take him out. 
quit spewing nonsense and listen up. I'm about to drop my latest hit. Right on your smug little face. Round three, all right. This music kind of bumping for real too. Now, Billy, I, I, yeah, there we go. <laughs> you may be a pacifist, but you're not stupid. I think you know, like, when a giant metal punch is coming your way, either you're gonna die or he is, all right? Hopefully after this, we can negotiate with him. <sighs> you have a heart of gold, kid. Oh. Oh, so that's how that works now. Okay, okay. I didn't know the guy was gonna pince his hands up like he was a little businessman with the little haw, oh, like the little bougie, <laughs> the little bougie hand motions. All right, I see you. Okay, I didn't expect that to come from like the groin of his mech, but okay. Think, think, is there um, anything around you that you can throw into that ink bag? Will this possibly work? Little buddy? Really now? Is there nothing that can kill this man? <laughs> Billy, we need this in ranked battle, dude. Can you imagine just throwing little buddy and just canceling an ink bag? I still can't believe he's just not being sucked up by the ink bag. Dude, little buddy is getting the back massage of his freaking life, dude. My man is gonna be in the most therapeutic position in years. Mm -hmm. Little Bartholomew, you're back! Oh, well, I guess my man's pot share time expired there. I've been suffering through a lot of stress. I've had to deal with college and everything. Let me get that kind of massage right now. And also, let me get the immortality of Little Buddy to boot, you know? I'll just, I'll just take every trait of Little Buddy. Just let me give, let me get Little Buddy's gene pool and everything except, you know, the fish trait and the being one foot tall trait. All right, big guy, everything's okay. Jeez, he is so large. When you see him in his little mech and the fact that he just does not have a lower body you're thinking oh he's probably like five feet like the inklings and everything his head's bigger than billy is went on a weak show octavio your set list is getting old or maybe it's just you captain cuttlefish is probably the devs at this point it's definitely us but it's probably the devs too where it's just like even they know the same punches and punches and slightly different style punches yeah it's just it's the same thing over and over again even they're aware of that now whoa whoa, whoa. what the what uh Where'd my man Octavio go? Oh my gosh, we're losing all our gear? What's happening? Oh my girls. Look at, and big man. But <laughs> other than that, we got Fry shivering big man there. Their masks don't really fit well from the side, but <laughs> the idea is still there. Oh my gosh, well this is already a pretty good like 40 minutes or something. Yeah, like 40 minutes to the single player and everything. I mean, if you guys have enjoyed and want more of this, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content on Splatoon 3 and other things gaming. I uh, I'll see, what? Was that just a tutorial area?